Hello friends, welcome back to lmscilly.com. In today's screencast, we will see the Moodle plugin named as Workplace Course Certificate. This plugin allows you to automatically issue the digital certificates to your students on your Moodle site. This plugin also allows you to create different type of templates pulling the dynamic uh, data from the user details such as the full name of the students, the course name or the course grade etc. Let us get started. You can download the plugin from the link given in the description section below. Kindly note that in addition to this uh, activity plugin, you need to download this tool underscore certificate plugin also because that is the one which provides the API and the UI for designing the certificate templates on the system and course category level. Uh, so let me download this workplace course certificate plugin and then let me download this workplace certificate manager plugin also and now i will just go back to my moodle site to install both of these plugins so as you can see now i am logged into my moodle site as a admin and for installing the plugins i need to go to this site admin and then plugins install plugins and then drop the file here So first I will install the tool file and then I will complete the installation for the plugin. I will repeat the process for the second plugin and come back to you after installing both the plugins. So now just click on this upgrade Moodle database now. So now we have installed the tool underscore certificate plugin and now let us install the activity after clicking this save changes. Again go back to plugins page, install plugin and then choose file. Okay, so now we have installed both the plugins on our Moodle site. Now I will just go to any Moodle course and add this certificate activity on that course. So let me go back to my mo courses here and go to any course and let me click the edit mode toggle button first of all to enter the editing mode. Now here I can click on this add an activity or resource and then I need to choose the course certificate. The course certificate plugin is slightly different from the custom certificate plugin and we will just see the difference right now. So on this page we need to mention the name for this certificate. So let me say it is the course completion certificate. You can provide a description to that. And under this template you can see that you can select a predefined template for the completion certificate right while adding this activity so it comes uh, with a certificate demo template pre-installed so if you are new to Moodle you can just directly use this demo template you can also click this manage certificate templates to manage your own template files I will just show you how it will look so here you can see that we have one template only uh, created as of now which is coming by default. Now you can click on this new certificate template button and create a new template. So let me say that it is my template and you can uh, keep it you can keep this template only to specific course category also but for me let but let me keep it to none for this demo. You can define the page width here and the margins here and then click on save changes. Now we have uh, defined the configuration for the new template but we have not yet added anything on the course certificate. So you can click on this add element button here and you can see lot of different items which we can 
use on our certificate so let me say that first of all i would like to add a dynamic field here and here let me say that i would like to date of completion and here you can see that we have fee five uh, different fields which we can pull the data so for this date of completion let me use this course completion date and then you can define the font and size for the text and the color and then the text alignment and click on save changes so we have added one uh, field here you can also click this to drag to the required position wherever you would like to show this text you can again add a new element and then let me say that uh, you can add a background image and then mention it as background image and then upload a file here and then click on this save changes so similarly you can add different type of elements on your course certificate page and whenever you are done with this settings uh, just go to this details and then check the issued certificates here so this is the management of the templates now whenever you are done with the template creation just go back to the course where we were adding the initial uh, certificate and just click on reload so that we can use our newly built template here and again let me give it a name course completion certificate and then under the template you can see that we have two different templates listed now so let us click the new one you can also define expiry date for this certificate so let me say that after next year it will be expired and then click on save and display so now uh, the, so now we have added the course certificate on our course page here you will see the first message is that the automatic sending of this certificate is disabled which means that whenever a student completes the criteria for getting this certificate the certificate will be automatically emailed to them now whenever you click on this enable then uh, this certificate will be automatically issued to them so let us keep it as enabled and then whenever any person or any student meets the required conditions for this certificate they will automatically get their pdf certificate without coming back to the course and downloading it which was the case for the custom certificate plugin so this is how you can use the course certificate plugin from moodle workplace team in your moodle lms if you like this video please don't forget to click the subscribe button as well as press the bell icon for our youtube channel thank you very much for watching have a great day bye bye